Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we'll focus on wildcard routes. Wildcard routes are extremely important in terms of security and making sure that your, app, your users do not goof up with your application unwantedly. It's a good way to protect your application by securing the routes in a way that they cannot access anything what they are not supposed to. We will learn about how, what are wildcards, how do we configure them and in this particular tutorial. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I'm here to share my knowledge with you on modern web technologies and modern technology stacks. So if you have any questions, any doubts during the course of this tutorial series, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work, so I really, will really appreciate if you can like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you in advance. I've created a full Angular 9 playlist tutorial for you. Uh, it has everything for you to master Angular 9. So if you are really interested in learning Angular 9 from basic to advanced, do check out the tutorial list playlist that I've shared in the description box below. And I'm sure you will gain valuable information. So far in the past few episodes, uh, we are focusing on Angular routing, learning about important concepts and features of Angular routing. Uh, make sure you check out all the other previous videos so that you don't miss out on any of these listed features and functionality. Today we are covering about wildcard routes. So what are wildcard routes? So wildcards uh, intercept any invalid URLs in our application. When there are no matching results or routes found in the routes array, the router does not know where to go and hence the results in console errors. We define wildcard routes with double asterisk. Usually a component is always created, which is called page not found, which is a best practice and you would find it in most applications that are designed. That was little bit background about wildcard routes. Now let's get to hands-on and implement this in our application. So open up the application and then what we need to do, if you see in our routing module, we don't have any wildcard routes, right? I'll also make some notes for you. So, so um, we define wildcard routes using asterisk, asterisk right? Uh, can we have more than one wildcard routes? Uh, we can have technically, we can have technically, but it's not encouraged uh, since you want a singular way of handling things, right? Uh, and as a best practice, as a best practice, we, we define a, a 404 or a page not found component, which is usually mapped. Right. Uh, let's get started. See some hands on. So if you see the routing path, there is no wildcard. So if I go to my application and give some URL which does not exist. Right. So see this route that I've given does not exist in my path route array. Right. In the routes array here, I don't have that path. So what happens? It doesn't know. It takes us to the default page, right? But that's not the correct behavior we want. What we want is we want to tell them the user. Uh, so before we do that, right? What I'll do for you is we'll create a new component, right? And we'll say ng generate component and I will call it page not found, right? Page not found component. So we are just creating a simple page not for comp page not found component and in the template I'm going to write invalid route or I'll say 404 page not found right simple nothing nothing fancy here um, app page not found this is the component name so we will now import it into our routing here. So let's define that path now. I'll say whenever there is a wildcard, that means whenever there is a URL which did not match, right? It is done with double equal to. So I'm saying component that I want to match is 
page not found component it's already imported you see here and it will point to page not found save it and now let's go to our page and do some random route it's not existing you don't have to give this you can give any url you want so now it says 404 page not found right so you see this is how we can secure our routes and say whenever there is no matching route found we will always point it to page not found this is called as wildcard routes all right so i hope you learn uh, it, you, the concept is clear to you of how to use wildcard how to how to implement it in your project give it a try try hands on go back check out the uh, code that i explained let me know if you have any doubts i will be happy to help you in the next episode we'll learn about the child routes how do we create ch child routes for a particular route it's a little advanced concept but i'm sure uh, it will be fun learning it make sure you don't miss out on it if you like this video give a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any tutorial i publish thanks again for joining see you in the next episode